So, we have started a new show, separate from DK. We'll call this An Evening with Soda Slug. Woo! Thank you very much. Now, today's topic, why DK stole my fries. So, a few years back, I bought some McDonald's fries for me to eat. And I went to the bathroom, you know, my bedroom. And I came back and I noticed that there were two fries. In the container. And so I spent the whole night trying to figure out. And it was DK all along. There he'd take my flies. And this was the first episode of An Evening with Soda Stock. Woo! Thank you very much. Good night. A little, you know. And another thing. You can't just take other people's fries. I mean, who does that? Now, I am the exception because I don't have any money. And so I rely on other people to help me out. It's called welfare. Read a book. And another thing. I don't like how I'm always portrayed as mean in the DK series. I'm actually a really nice guy. You just need to give me a chance. I mean, I only like taking other people's money if it benefits me. Like, I don't do it that much. And so, out of the goodness of my heart, I paid for his meal, and he never even thanked me. I mean, how could anyone do such a thing. Be so unappreciative of my doings. One thing I wasn't too happy about is that I'm not in the Super Mario movie. Um, I really thought that I would have been an important part of that movie, but I guess the writers didn't think so, and I was very offended. I had a protest at Speedway the other day, but nobody joined me. Can't believe it. Not even DK. He just looked at me with those eyes and told me to stop being so selfish. I can't believe he would do that. So, as revenge, I went and took some of his fruit snacks. And he has no idea. Okay, so, he found out, but it doesn't matter. I paid for his meal. Soda Slug Entry Number 12 I was watching Zoe 101 on the living room TV, and DK has the nerve to come in and change the channel telling me that he doesn't like the show. I mean, how could you do that? I was watching that, bro. Mm, bro. How could you turn off my show? Yeah, bro, how could you turn off my show? I don't want to come to... <laughs> so, as I was saying... Can you hear me right now? Okay, can you hear me? Uh... So, as I was saying, DK has the so nerve slow. to take the tape recorder away from me. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my show. In the Soda Slug show, we will be discussing Soda Slug issues. DK and I were going to record my episodes onto a VHS tape, but it didn't work. How could DK give up on such an important event? How could DK impose on my show? He has a show of his own. I've never gotten anything to myself. How 
dare he? You. You. Gotcha! What the firework thing? Oh, I remember this one time, DK got me pizza. And it wasn't even a war. How am I supposed to eat pizza like that? So, I remembered this one time. <laughs> this one time, I got DK a Christmas gift. I, out of the goodness of my heart, went through my personal collection of Spongebob DVDs. And it turns out he had the same ones. And so the whole time, he just complained about how I gave him the gift that he already had. And then I remembered one time we were hanging out. And I had to take things back into the house, and he actually made me carry things. He knows that he's the stronger one, and so that means he should be able to carry it all. I am just a poor, helpless slug. Yeah. Finally, I stole the tape recorder pretending to be me. How could he do that? That's what I... That's another reason you should feel sorry for me. I just always fart, and I can't help it. The camera isn't on me right now, and I'm really upset. I need more screen time in the show. I just farted. In Barack Obama's face. I love you so much. I really do. Welcome back to the Soda Slug Show. Unbelievable. And so, where was I? So, anywho, back in college, when I went for one day, okay, so, I ordered chicken tenders from DK, and he so graciously gave me eight instead of six. I was so thankful, and that is how we became for friends. Also, he was playing Die Doras, and I love Die Doras. And so, I asked for the same amount. I asked for six chicken tenders. And not only were the prices raised, but DK didn't give me six. He only gave me seven. He gave me eight. Last time, and he cheated me out of one old chicken tender. How could he do such a thing to such a poor slug? Dude, your stories are just so fucking backwards. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. These are my feelings. My feelings? I am pouring my heart out onto this cassette tape that I so righteously stole from DK's <laughs> own personal so collection. And he doesn't even have the respect that I have earned in this bongo. <laughs> so, Wait, I never like... even told the story of how I originally got here. <laughs> you just invaded the show. So, DK loves to claim that I Broke in without permission. That was not true. So, what is the real story you're asking? Well, I'll be happy to tell it to you. I moved in with DK full time in 2021. DK and I were together and we had a conversation while drunk. I did a nice thing for DK. I paid him back. Two cents for the beer that he bought. <laughs> Two cents. And he had a lot to drink. And he said, So does like, if you ever need anything from me, ever, <laughs> you can just do whatever you need. I am here for you, buddy, if you ever are in a rut. <laughs> he had a lot to do. And so, that <laughs> conversation happened back in 20. 
14. So fast forward seven years. I wasn't really talking to DK too much because I didn't really need anything. I usually only contacted DK when I really needed something because I didn't want to impose on his life. Okay. Uh, it's so... In 2021, I lost my house that my parents were paying for. I spent so much money that they didn't have enough to keep paying for the house. <laughs> and so they picked me out and I couldn't believe they could do such a thing to their sluggy son. And so I got on my cellular telephone and asked one of my good friends if I could stay over. And that friend was named George Lopez. And he so rightfully, I have since forgiven him, but he initially said I could not stay at his house. How dare he? How dare he? Invite his mother, Benny, over to the house, who steals all of his cigarettes. I have never stolen more than a half the pack of cigarettes. And so George did not let me stay. So I went to another good friend of mine. VK. I called him on the phone and asked if I could come over. He said no. And I couldn't believe the audacity he had to deny entrance into his house. And so, I called the next week and asked if I could, and DK said yes. And so, I decided to play a friendly joke on DK and call him and tell him that I could not make it that night. So, so the joke did not go as planned because I crashed into his house on accident. DK claims it was on purpose, but I just needed a place to park. And so, since DK told me back in 2014 that he would help me in any way possible, I knew in my heart that this was a good plan. I also was not in the mood to pay for anything, and I knew DK out of the goodness of his heart since he owed me for life for paying for his beer, that he would give me free room and board. I thought that meant free fruit snacks. I love fruit snacks, if you didn't already know. And so, and so, I thought that it would be okay to help myself to the fridge and go get some fruit snacks. <laughs> he said so pouty. I went to go get the fruit snacks and I ate four boxes worth. Well, DK barges in and yells at me because all I was doing was eating. I just like to eat. I don't know what's wrong with that. If it's there, I assume that it's all for me. And so, after that incident, I calmly resorted back to the bathroom. I don't know how DK couldn't give up his bedroom for me. You always treat the guest with respect. Oh, okay. Well, since I have a special guest... I would like to tell a story. One day, I was feeling generous, and I decided to go to McDonald's so I could play in the ball pit with DK and Diddy. They told me they didn't really like playing in the balls, but I didn't care. I just wanted to take them. I just wanted to take them so I could play 
and I figured they would want to watch me. And so, Diddy and DK, I, all ordered a McDonald's meal. Ronald McDonald greeted us and told us that we had to pay. So I grabbed the first card that I saw. Well, I didn't realize that this card was actually not a credit card. It was a Pokemon card. But I thought it would work. And so, I put the Pokemon card in the card reader, and it got declined. I figured that that was good enough. I figured that Ronald McDonald would appreciate my effort to pay and use all my hard-earned dollars towards this American McDonald's meal. DK DK and Diddy were sitting at the table, and I looked over at them and held up the meal. They waved to come over there, but I thought that meant that I could eat the food. So I ate the food and walked over so those two could watch me play in the ball pit. So, I go to sit at the table, and they bitch and complain (laughs) about how I didn't get them their food. I thought they told me I could eat it. And so, it was still their meal, and I paid for it. I just don't understand the big deal that these two were causing. I was just being nice. Paying for their food that they didn't even want. We all know that I didn't really steal the fries. And so, after this incident, we went back to the Congo Bongo where we grabbed our Carl Palmer concert tickets. Since I have a good taste in music, I I introduced Carl Palmer to DK. (laughs) He told me he already knew everything that they ever released, but I just know he was trying to impress me. (laughs) And so, we went to the theater where I brought my favorite camera. Wait. I paid for both of our tickets. But I didn't realize that I had DK's card. It just landed in my wallet somehow. I don't know. And so we went to the concert. And I took a picture with Carl Palmer and DK. The security guy had me. Camera. And he told me not to use flash. So. I didn't use flash, and the pictures came out blurry. DK complained the whole time about how blurry the pictures were. I spent good, hard-earned money. Money. That I walked all the way over to the nearest dresser and took with my own hands. Dude, he sucks. And so I paid for these pictures with my money. And all DK could do was complain that the pictures were blurry. They looked fine and they had plenty of character. Hey, now you have the first part of my show. It's over. (laughs) Flip over to the next side for more. Family fun entertainment provided to you from my heart to yours. Stay tuned for more fun from Soda Slug, the best show you will ever watch. And if you think any other show is better, then you are selfish and don't have good taste for what's really good. Okay. 
I will see you guys in a minute. Good night now. Not you. Gotcha! <laughs> this is the hidden track on side one. For more exclusive offers, please send money to my GoFundMe account <laughs> yep. created in my name. For Welcome to the Soda Slug Show, featuring Dude, me and not, only me, when I put so much good into this world and it never happens to me. <laughs> I do so much. When I see someone in a wheelchair, I push them so they don't have to push themselves. I went back in time so that everything you ever knew about this cartoon had me in it, and it made it even better. And so, I was sitting with George Michael and all my other friends, and DK comes in and he ridicules me for having a good time. I can't believe he would do such a thing. <laughs> here, here. Another time, I went to go lay down on my bed, and DK's cat was laying there in my spot. I kindly asked him to move, and he wouldn't. And I couldn't believe how mean that cat was to me. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Is that what you thought of the cat? Yeah. And so, I finally decided to look for a job. Because DK did the worst thing imaginable. He required that I pay money to live in his bathroom every month. In what world does that ever happen to such a man? And so, I decided to take it upon myself and go look for a job. So, I first went to McDonald's, where Ronald McDonald made me pay for my meal. I figured that he could be paying me back, and so I decided to apply there. And so... This is a 100% true story. Ronald McDonald made me sweep the floors, and I couldn't deal with that. And plus, I also stole some food because I was hungry. But I didn't realize that that food had already been served to a customer. And so, Ronald McDonald never even paid me for all the time I worked there. I thought that six minutes would be enough to be able to pay rent for DK. <laughs> and so, I just... <laughs> so, I just... <laughs> <laughs> so I applied and worked at a total of five more places that day before I even had enough money to buy a hamburger on the way home. I got fired from every job, and I think all those people had something wrong with them if they weren't willing to hire me. I gave DK enough money for the rent, and he sent me back to the bathtub. And so, in the bath water, I ripped one, and it smelled very good. And so, what ended up happening was, the house got burnt down as a result of my gas. DK blamed me for it, but I really think that he's in the blame. He sent me out to go get a job, 
And that is why I ended up eating that hamburger on the way home. This is his fault, not mine. So finally, to conclude my show, I will tell another true story that completely happened exactly like this. I was inside the house listening to my music when BK comes up to me and asks me to draw me. I knew that I was a good artist from three days in art school. And so I drew a beautiful and wonderful picture of me what DK didn't think it was good enough. And so, to mock me, he made me kiss his ass on an episode of DK Country Season 3 in response to what I thought were beautiful drawings, and he made fun of them. And so, I will be going. <laughs> I, I will be going on break now so I can have my meal, which I didn't pay for. And so, you guys are going to have to deal with the commercial. Uh, hey, uh, please send money. To your favorite slugs. It can be soda slug. It can be a check made at the beer slug and soda slug's name. It can be a hundred dollars at soda slug's address at the Conga Bongo. Don't matter. Just give soda slug your money at the GoFundMe.com or send it at his PayPal. Sluggywoogie.org. So, you caught me in my blue foot. And I really wasn't trying to work right now. But, out of the kindness of my heart, and because I was told I would not get paid if I didn't work during my break, I thought that I would just tell you more. I know that you guys want to hear a lot, but I just, I have to set my limits. And so, I have another story to tell you. This is a 100% true story. I got a little caught up in eating. <laughs> DK's Congo Bongo Kingdom. I accidentally ate... Damn. I accidentally ate all his food and spent his credit card to get more. I went a little overboard and bought 24 packs of fruit snacks, 80 bags of Swedish fish, 10 bags of Doritos, 8 bags of M&Ms, and 20 Four packs of beer. DK came home and freaked out on me, all because I was eating a little too much. I got a little too fat for the bathtub and I broke it. So I fell to the floor and I can't believe DK didn't hire somebody to come in and make sure that the house was safe before I stayed in it. And so, come Christmas time, I decided to give DK a gift. I went through my own personal CD collection for a second time and pulled out four CDs I thought would best fit DK's tastes. I also didn't want them anymore, and so I figured that he would want what I didn't have. And so, at Christmas time, BK gets me one CD. It costed a decent amount, but that doesn't even matter. It was one CD. 
I can't believe Dude, I lost the amount of CDs. I lost the amount of CDs I had because DK only gave me one. And I was hoping he would give me five so I could keep building my collection. Yeah. Dude, you gave me like a CD inside a jewel case. I got him a CD and the jewel case was a little bit cracked. <laughs> With no inserts. The inserts were lost in a fire. But that CD was very sentimental to me. It takes me back to the time that I stole it in the exchange. <laughs> I really missed that time. And so I gave him a sentimental gift from my own collection, and he didn't even appreciate it. All he did was complain that there was nothing there. And so... I gave him another Talking Head CD. Disc missing. But I didn't even realize that one of the discs was missing. DK looked at it, looked at me, and then bitched about how he didn't get the second CD and instead only got one. Like, he couldn't even listen to the music on the first one and have full appreciation for the thought that I had been putting his way all this time. I spent so much hard energy getting up out of bed and so much time out of my day to look for these CDs. And so I was very upset, but I decided not to hold it against DK. So I could keep living there. And so, yeah. Now, I will take you back to middle school. Well, I am not middle school. I am 4,005 slug years old. But Diddy Kong was in middle school. <laughs> Everybody just tries to be against me all the time. This world really revolves around me and not in a good way. And so, and so, and so, 